Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine. That's one of the best Premier League games I think I've seen in a long time. Two teams who have been down in the dumps this season, two teams fighting it out for averageness this season, have given us an unbelievable night of football. Yeah, and it just, it just goes to show you where Man United actually are. Oh, um, in the mud. In the mud. Like I said, we saw it against Brentford. They could have walked over with all three points, um, snatch and grab. And, and again, coming away with 19th minute, um, Brentford got an equaliser, and we're just seeing it again tonight. They, their players again need to take some form of accountability now start to be oh. able to these are top world class professionals international players they should be know how to man manage a game yeah. you know in the 90s you know what it's like though mate when, you, when you've conceded like that absolute head loss and you get done again and you're like oh my god what's just happened you know you've been you, we've all been there we have. No, it doesn't happen been, often. No, but, but we've been there. It comes a point, right? It's just absolute head loss. They've, they, they've got a an equaliser. The, the game's almost over now. Look, let's just... It's not a cup final. If we come away with a point, it's better than, you know, before before the start of the game, would they, would they have gone, right, you're going to get a point at Stamford Bridge? They would have said, okay, fair enough. Yeah. So they were gone. They should have said, right, let's just keep the ball. Maybe, you know, play it around a bit. He went on amazy. Yeah, Dallo went on amazy, yeah. and, then, and then all the defenders followed him as well. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a oh, literally a, a rush of blood. You know what is? How good is the Premier League though? Bill just said it in my ear. How good is the Premier League when both teams are rubbish and oh. they just fight it out? And you go, you know what? Let's just go toe to toe. Man City, Arsenal, all the weekend it was boring, wasn't boring. it? Because two top teams just cancel each other out. When and then you, you see these teams, they've both been poor this season. They both can't defend. Or and you get a team that just sits stupidness. 11 men behind the ball. We just get, you know, trying to break them down. This was two teams, you know, worlds and miles apart of where they should be, uh, literally just going toe to toe. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Brilliant. What a game. Uh, right, my mate's phoned up. He's a Chelsea fan. He's been at the game. Tony Truman, owner of Ocean Beach. I'm sure he's uh, been enjoying that one. All right, Tone? <laughs> Tone? Oh, for right. How are you, Tone? Yeah. Oh, I flew home for my beef, especially for this match tonight, mate. I only got back this afternoon, and what a match. Oh, I can't, I can't, I'm gutted. I'm gutted that you've gone and, and you've watched a perler of a game. Because normally I love texting you 24-7 about how bad you are. I know, I was in the, I was in the executive suite after where Cundy was as well, and I mean, and him were jumping about like a couple of loons. <laughs> Unbelievable celebrations everywhere, all I'm, around the ground. Bit, it just shows how fickle us football fans are. Ten minutes to go, I'm coating Potch off, going, get him out of this club, I've had enough of him. <laughs> I wonder if he's never won nothing. And literally, when he brought on two defenders, I thought, what are you doing? You've lost the plot, mate. And then what happens? We turn it around. <laughs> Tony, what do I know? Tony, <laughs> Tony, is this going to make your summer in IB for a lot better now, <laughs> regardless of how the season ends? Exactly. Well, I've been a season ticket holder there for like 20 odd years, and uh, that was my last one before I go back to IB for. And what a game. Um, um, even if you were a neutral supporter, yeah. it was end to end, you know, attacking, 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 chances. Incredible, you know, but like I say, both teams have been so poor this season, yeah. aren't we? But we yeah. gave the game of football tonight. Tone, like, we're going 2 0 up, right? You're winning that game, and we're, I'm sitting in here, we're watching it going, you know what? Chelsea have actually got half decent inside. They actually have got some decent players. And in typical Chelsea, you just you know, you throw it away and you turn into like complete garbage. And sitting there thinking, how has this even happened? You know, like well, it, you know, that's what I mean. Unbelievable. Even when like we said, I said to my mate, I sit with. I said, don't let's not make a mistake. We've led led a few times this season, and we've always let the other team come back in by a stupid mistake. And what did Casado do? Gave the ball away. They're back in the game and everything. I know we hit the post at the end of the second half, at the first half, and everything. But it's just, it's just, it's just absolutely mental. Do you know what we're lacking? A leader. Mm. Even when we were two 0 up, right, and they started getting back into the game, everyone's heads dropped. Yeah, right, I know yeah, we got. Yeah, I know yeah. United back in. No one, you know, obviously uh, Silver's on the bench and everything. But there's no one. There's not a JT, a Lampard, a, a person out there who picks the team up. Yeah. I think that's the same for United as well. You know, I think they're lacking a big, big leader in the team. Mm. Yeah, like Jay, like Jay said that you, you have got some great players here, but there, yeah. there is always somebody who's going to make a mistake. There's a lot of players that make mistakes yeah. in Chelsea. Yeah. You know, usually you get one or two, but for some reason, you look at the defence, someone can have a bad touch that gives it away, the next minute they put it in the back of the net, the wrong pass, the wrong decision, like Caicedo. There's too many of that going on at Chelsea. Caicedo, Tone, he's a myth. 
Oh, oh, Liverpool got up. Uh, Liverpool dodged the bullet there, Tony. Oh, Tony, he's back. <laughs> uh, honestly. Um, do you think what Arsenal paid for Declan Rice, 100 million, and Chelsea spent, what, 225 million on them two? Yeah. And it's just absolute, it's, it's insane. Yeah. There's something seriously lacking at the club. You know, Jay, how much I love the club and everything. Yeah, I know. But you, feel yeah, it around, you feel it around the ground, and, you know, whether it stems from the owner all the way down, but it's just, there's just no spine there at the moment. It's, uh, it's, un- it's, it's mm. sad. It's sad, really. Yeah. But Tom- I suppose it's still not as bad as Tottenham, though. So. <laughs> hey, listen, you're on page one again, Tone. You're, you're tenth. You're doing all right. Oh, we, we made it a tenth. You're, in, ten- you're, in, wow. you're, in, you're in the tenth now, man. It's the highest you've been this season, I think. You're doing all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, do you enjoy the game, boys? Did you tonight? Hey? Yeah, cracker, mate. Tony's yeah, a cracker. It, listen, as a neutral, it's a great game, isn't it? Was Cundy, did you see Cundy? Because, I mean, yeah, we, we've I'm been trying to get hold of him. Has anyone, oh, mate, has anyone got, seen Cundy? Got, he was obviously commentating, commentating on the game, wasn't he? Yeah, and he was yeah. getting all jumped over and everything. I see him after the game, we was laughing, <laughs> thinking, thank God we couldn't have handled all the stick from O'Hara on the way home if we'd have lost. <laughs> I couldn't wait to phone you, mate. You you and Cuddy, my first two phone calls as soon as that game was ending. And when you scored that, and I'm thinking, oh, here we go. I'm going to get absolutely battered by you lot. <laughs> oh, oh, brilliant. What a, what a night. What a night, mate, for you. Yeah, I mean, look, Tone, just going forward with, with Chelsea, what happens? Where do they go? Pochettino's obviously going to stay in a job now, but what what do they need to do in the summer? They need to, oh, I was going to say invest, but how much money have they invested? <laughs> obviously, it sounds like you're trying to open another business in, in, you know, when you're phoning me up. Got any money? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get me head round and like every single Chelsea fan like this I know this financial fair play league but talking about getting rid of Gallagher talking about getting rid of Rich James two homegrown outstanding yeah. players surely there's not there's enough uh, there's enough other like, dead wood on the team yeah. on the squad like yeah. the Karkus and Keppers and people like that we can get rid of to balance the books yeah. and why are we talking about getting rid of two British amazing players yeah. I just I just don't, I don't get it that's the sort of spine that you need in the team yeah. you yeah. know yeah. but I think we need we need a finisher we do need a finisher Jackson I think he had a great game tonight he's holding the ball up well I think in the future he's going to be a good player but at the moment, he's not quite finishing enough. I think if we get a good finisher and a good central defender, you know, like I say, young team, isn't it? Young team, I think, uh, mm. I just don't know if Poch is the right man, I'm afraid. I just, I just really yeah. don't know. I wanted yeah. him to be. I really wanted him to be like most Chelsea fans. Uh, you know, he's done good stuff with the Tottenham youngsters. I know he's yeah. never won nothing, but, but Tottenham <laughs> never win nothing anyway. So, uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's one of them. It's a funny one, isn't it? Yeah. Funny yeah. old game. Yeah, Tone, you're off. You're back into our beef, for mate. Ocean Beach, get the champers ready for me. I'll be out there. When are we opening? I look by the way, we open on Wiki Woo on the 25th and Ocean on the 26th. So I hope to see you out there, mate. And Goldie's uh, lost a bit of weight, as you've probably seen yeah. on my Instagram today. Yeah, yeah. You, see, oh, no. you, need, uh, you need to take note, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to sort Gaffney out now as well. Oh, Jesus, all of you again. That's a nightmare. <laughs> Love you. Great show as always, boys. Tom. Love you. Top man, mate. Cheers, See you soon, care, mate. mate. Speak to you later. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.